It's creamy, it's spicy, a little bit of smokiness from that paprika. And the chilies just open up that spice as well. It's ginatan, manok, Filipino or Pinoy coconut chicken. I'm Jeremy from School of Wok in Covent Garden here in London. It is Wok Wednesday and we're going straight over to the Philippines with this beautiful dish. And it's so simple, but it's got some real flavour to it. And it all starts with the base flavour of your onions and spices. So you want to get some chunks or wedges of onions, some roughly chopped garlic, loads of ginger, and the chilies just pierce them open. I've got one large green chilli, which actually been frozen. I'm going to use that because it's nice and easy. I've also got my green papaya. Now green papaya is one of those things that you do have to get from specialist stores. If you can't find green papaya, you can use any type of apples and fruits or even an underripe actual melon and it will give you a similar sort of texture and flavour. And the whole texture of green papaya is quite sort of crunchy in a sense, but when it cooks through it sort of has this mellow softness to it. So I just want some rough chunks. Onto the chicken. I'm just using a poussin or a small chicken here. Now the first thing we're going to do is just portion this chicken up. First, just take the legs off. Take your wings. Don't waste the backbone, there's plenty of flavour in there. And then just divvy out the leg and thigh joints. It's always best to look for the joint. So it's nice and easy just to slice through rather than chop into it. And then you want to just go straight through the backbone and then chop these into a few slices. Keeping all the skin on, the bone on, so when I sear that and then put it into this coconut stew, it really adds flavour to the stew. On to the cooking. We're going to start by getting your onions and your garlic and your ginger and chilli into this pot here. Onions in. And there's some dishes in the Philippines that are super famous and this is definitely more sort of home style. We have, you know, your whole roast pig, you know, things like that that just really hit the spot and they're quite slow cooked. But the idea of this, and this is what I sort of learned when I was out in the Philippines a couple of times, is that much like other cuisines, there are these slower dishes that then allow you time once they're on to then go on and do the quicker things, like a quick stir fry or garlic fried rice. And you'll see, I know that one of Emma's videos, the Filipino garlic fried rice, is super popular. That's one of those dishes you might cook in between or cook for breakfast slightly quicker. I want these onions to wilt down and sort of give me space for the rest of the spices. So whilst that's happening, I'm going to sear my chicken in a separate pan. So keeping the skin on the chicken just allows it to crisp up and brown a little. You don't have to do this in a separate pan, but I quite like sort of giving the chicken and its skin that space to brown nicely. That's going to take three to four minutes to sear nicely, let it brown and then give them a turn and then I'll season them in a second. So the onions are browned nicely, my chicken's browning, I'm just going to add a little bit of oil into the middle of that casserole dish to get my spices in, that's my ginger, garlic and my chilies that have just been pierced to add spice, but more to add flavour from the chilies. Push those into there. And don't mind a little bit of browning on the base because the coconut milk is going to pick all that flavour up. This chicken, nicely seared, so I'll leave that on the side till I'm ready to add it to the actual stew. So, my onions, they're wilted nicely. That garlic and that ginger and chilli is sort of weaving itself through the onions now. Paprika, optional, but it's good to notice the sort of influence of the Spanish tradition in Pinoy cooking. So I'm getting the paprika into this before I add the coconut milk, because I just want it to temper a little. Now this is ginatan manok 
coconut stew. So it requires a really good amount of coconut milk. You want to try and find a good creamy coconut milk can. And then I can see sort of the onions catching on the base of this pan nicely now. So that's the time to pour your coconut milk in. You want to let that boil, bring it to a boil and then give it a stir. And you want to scrape anything that's sort of caught on the bottom of the pan so that it adds flavour to the stew. So we're going to quite like to season the chicken pieces before I then add any more seasoning to the actual stew. Just mix that seasoning in well and then place your chicken bits into the stew nicely. Now if you're using a larger chicken, you probably want to just to boil that chicken into the stew for about 10 to 15 minutes before you add your green papaya. But it's a small chicken, so I'm going to go for about 5 to 10 minutes of boiling first and then add my green papaya. I'm going to pop the green papaya into the stew. And as I say, this is seriously homely cooking, just sort of bit by bit, throw everything in. So I'm going to cook that for a minimum of 10 minutes just to sort of cook through and soften down. So I've seasoned the chicken, but not the stew, but it definitely needs more seasoning. And I'd also like to just take one of these pieces of green papaya out and I'll cut into it. I've cut into that and it's still crunchy, which is good. I want it to soften that a little bit more but I want it to keep its crunch, so I'll give it another five minutes. Now the colour of this stew has got that beautiful sort of orange tint to it. And just for a little bit of brightness, we use some of that smoked paprika. Nice and simple home cooking, my version of a Filipino coconut chicken. And make sure I get some of that green papaya to try. And cut into that straight away and you'll see now, it's really soft as you cut into the green papaya. Mmm, perfect. Just sort of melts in your mouth. And you get that hit of that creamy coconut and paprika sauce. So homely. Guys, let us know in the comments below what your favourite way to cook a sort of homely stew is. And don't forget, we've got loads of other recipes to learn from on the channel. And we'll see you next time.